It's time for the all-new online and in-video Curtis Rick Show, brought to you by Sanford Health. This weekly video podcast features the head coach of the Indoor Football League's defending champion, the Sioux Falls Storm. Each week we visit with Coach Riggs and talk about games and events around the IFL, have a recap and highlights from the previous Storm game, and Coach's scouting report of the Storm's next opponent. Also on the Curtis Riggs Show are guests, either Storm players or someone from the Storm organization, the IFL, or anyone of interest to Storm fans. And now, here is your host of the Curtis Riggs Show, IFL Hall of Fame sportscaster, Rich Rosty. And hi, everybody, and welcome to the Curtis Riggs Show. And this week, we'll be talking to the head coach about the game down in Louisville, Kentucky, where the Storm was successful in that game. 49 to 43 in a hard-fought contest, a comfort-behind victory late in the game. We'll talk about that, and, and Coach will have some very good comments about that. I had the chance to talk with him earlier this afternoon. We'll also talk about games around the IFL, and we'll talk about the game coming up this weekend as the Sioux Falls Storm will be traveling up to Bismarck, North Dakota to take on the Bismarck Bucks. They're 3-2 and two on the year, the Storm 2-1. and one. But we'll be able to get a preview of that game from Coach Riggs. And uh, that game is also going to be the game of the week on the Stadium Sports Network. Stadium, just go to watchstadium.com, and it's the game of the week. And uh, it's amazing to be a part of Stadium. Uh, games all across the IFL will be broadcast live on their networks. Watchstadium.com. Then uh, after we have the... Uh, those things going on in the Curtis Riggs show, we also have an interview coming up with Adam Sheffield. He is an offensive lineman with the Sioux Falls Storm. So all of that coming up on the Curtis Riggs show. So glad you joined us. We'll be back with uh, the head coach after we pause for this time out. Fireplace Professionals is a proud supporter of the Sioux Falls Storm. Our gas fireplaces and inserts from Heat and & Glow and Heatilator are the best in the business. You can stop in and see the region's largest showroom or visit us on the web at fireplaceprofessionals.com and get a virtual tour. We have almost 100 Heat and & Glow and Heatilator models on display and even more in stock. If you ever need advice, just call 605-339-0775 or better yet, stop in and see us at 1217 West 41st Street in Sioux Falls. You're going to love the way your home feels. Hey, Sioux Falls, do you want the guaranteed best carpet cleaning ever? Then you need to check out Best Choice Cleaning and Restoration. Since 1989, Best Choice incorporates the work ethic and durability of old-school family methods with the efficiency of modern equipment to offer high-quality cleaning services. When they're done cleaning the carpet in your home or office, you'll be thrilled with the results. Try Best Choice Cleaning and Restoration and experience the best carpet cleaning ever. Hi, everybody. This is Rich Rosty for the Sioux Falls Storm. When you think about sponsors that have been a part of the Sioux Falls Storm organization, there's no one that's been around longer than Good Sense Deli Fresh Subs. They've been around since the days of the Cobras 21 years ago. And they are a special organization. And they've been working to further enhance deliveries in Sioux Falls by supplementing their delivery staff with a third-party delivery company so you get your subs baked fresh, sliced fresh, and delivered fresh. That's good sense. Deli Fresh Subs. Man, that's good. More people are choosing Silver Star Car Wash than ever. Just $14.95 per month for fast, easy, unlimited washes at all of our Silver Star Car Wash locations. Get in and out quick and easy with free vacuums and prep towels and several convenient locations all over town. You won't find a better value anywhere. Just $14.95 per month for unlimited washes. Silver Star, a better wash, a great feeling. Welcome back to the Curtis Riggs Show. Here is your host, Rich Rosty. And welcome back to the Curtis Riggs Show. And uh, joining me now is the head coach of the Sioux Falls Storm, Curtis Riggs. Coach, we're going to be talking about your win out in Louisville, Kentucky. But first of all, I just want to talk about a couple of the games that went on around the IFLs. Fairly light week for the, Sioux, uh, for the IFL. But it was some interesting games, one very tight and one not so much. But uh, Bismarck traveled down to the Iowa Barnstormers, and 
Iowa won that game 49 to 42, but it had an interesting ending, didn't it? Or maybe you hadn't seen the ending of it. Why? Well, I, I had some people following it that were nearby me telling me what was going on. Um, it, back and forth game. And then, you know, Iowa scores and, and does an onside kick, which uh, that's very much that arena league style of play. You know, the mindset with that is um, we're going to onside kick. And if we get it, great, we'll finish this game out. If we don't get it, then they'll tie the game, worst case scenario, and we'll have time to go back down. They just, they're saying, we want the ball last is what they're doing there. Um, so, and you saw that a lot in the arena league. That's right. I guess that's very, very true about that. Um, and it was handled well. They recovered it and were able to run the game out. So well, it always looks good when you recover it. Yeah. Well, yeah. That, <laughs> it makes it look like the greatest coaching decision ever. Yeah. <laughs> no, about, no doubt about that. And it's all dependent on a, oblong ball that does not bounce the way you anticipate or what you plan. Very true. And, and no matter how many times you practice onside kick, you just, it seems like there's still always someone offsides, you know, Arizona has experienced that twice against us. Um, you, you know, it's just, it's a common thing. And when you onside kick, they're going to call it very tight. And uh, it's like, it's so hard for the guys to get that through their head. You know, I remember back in Billings, Montana, we played a game out there and the storm was leading by a pretty good amount. And I believe that their kicker made three onside perfect kicks. If you remember that yeah. game, maybe four. Yeah, yeah. I, I think he attempted six and a half and I thought he got three for sure, if not four. And um, uh, they were perfect. And um you could hit guys before the ball even got there. Then um, now that rule has changed, but kickers still have gotten so good at bouncing it so high off the turf that, um, you, you know, you're able to get there. And as soon as that ball crosses 10, you can just start mowing them all down. And, you know, it's like bowling. And uh, you're seeing that, and that little dribble kick too, that just goes right in front of the kicker. Uh, both kickers are getting very good at those two, two styles of kick. Can you onside a, or can you fair catch a kickoff? No. It, well, you kick it into the ground. So as soon as it's kicked oh, into the yeah. ground, yeah, you can't. If it was a pooch kick, no. um, you you could. But we don't have a fair catch in, in our game. You can't fair catch in, in indoor. Okay. Very good. The other game that went on was uh, Tucson Sugar Skulls as they took on the Duke City Gladiators. And it was over early, 55-35. Tucson coming off a last a loss last week uh, um, up in Green Bay. Well, I, I think, you know, Duke City kind of got a heavy dose of what the IFL can bring to you with uh, run game and, and you know, the difference of in the trenches. I, I think, you know, in Iowa, they got in a shootout um, with the quarterback at Iowa, Neil. You know, I think that's what they're going to try to do a lot is try to get in those shootouts. And Duke City was able to to get that one, but um, Tucson came in and, and really established established the line of scrimmage and, and pounded the ball at Duke City. And they really had no answer to stop that. Right now, it's kind of interesting how the teams have different uh, total games played because of the way the season started up because of different states and COVID rules and things like that. So, but leading the league right now is the Frisco Fighters. Again, Frisco is in Texas. They have a two and zero record. Sioux Falls two and one. Also Iowa Barnstormers, Bismarck at three and two. As is Green Bay Blizzard, at Arizona one and one, along with Duke City, and then Massachusetts Pirates two and two, Spokane Tucson one and one, Northern Arizona zero oh and two, and Louisville Extreme dropped to zero and four. And coming up next, Coach and I will be talking about the Louisville Extreme and the Storm's victory down there, forty nine to forty three. We'll be back right after this. Fireplace Professionals is a proud supporter of the Sioux Falls Storm. Our gas fireplaces and inserts from Heat & Glow and Heatalator are the best in the business. You can stop in and see the region's largest showroom or visit us on the web at fireplaceprofessionals.com and get a virtual tour. We have almost 100 Heat & Glow and Heatalator models on display and even more in stock. If you ever need advice, just call 605-339-0775 or better yet, stop in and see us at 1217 West 41st Street in Sioux Falls. You're going to love the way your home feels. 
Hey, Sioux Falls, do you want the guaranteed best carpet cleaning ever? Then you need to check out Best Choice Cleaning and Restoration. Since 1989, Best Choice incorporates the work ethic and durability of old school family methods with the efficiency of modern equipment to offer high quality cleaning services. When they're done cleaning the carpet in your home or office, you'll be thrilled with the results. Try Best Choice Cleaning and Restoration and experience the best carpet cleaning ever. Hi everybody, this is Rich Rosty for the Sioux Falls Storm. When you think about sponsors that have been a part of the Sioux Falls Storm organization, there's no one that's been around longer than Good Sense Deli Fresh Subs. They've been around since the days of the Cobras, 21 years ago. And they are a special organization. And they've been working to further enhance deliveries in Sioux Falls by supplementing their delivery staff with a third-party delivery company so you get your subs baked fresh, sliced fresh, and delivered fresh. That's good sense. Deli Fresh Subs. Man, that's good. More people are choosing Silver Star Car Wash than ever. Just $14.95 per month for fast, easy, unlimited washes at all of our Silver Star Car Wash locations. Get in and out quick and easy with free vacuums and prep towels and several convenient locations all over town. You won't find a better value anywhere. Just $14.95 per month for unlimited washes. Silver Star, a better wash, a great feeling. Welcome back to the Curtis Riggs Show. Here is your host, Rich Rosty. And welcome back to our second segment with the head coach of the Sioux Falls Storm, Curtis Riggs. And coach, uh, you guys traveled down to Louisville, Kentucky for the first time. Uh, there was a time we used to travel to Lexington quite often, had some great games down there. Some that were tough, but then one really big one at the, uh, that we won down there, I remember that was very specific. Adam Hicks had a big kick in that one. But you went to Louisville this time, and, and uh, you took on the extreme. Uh, tell us uh, kind of your overall thoughts about that game as you came away with the victory. Uh, well, you know, I, I, I mean, I thought it was okay. Um, I thought we got the ball up 15 to start the fourth quarter with a chance to really bury them and put them away. And instead, we we let them right. You saw how quickly a game can change with a snap over Lorenzo's head for safety. We kick off. They come down and score. They kick off to us. We fumble. They score. And all of a sudden, from being up 15, now, like a minute and 20 later, we're down by one. Um, and, and then we're able to take it down, score, get a two-point conversion, and then get an interception for a touchdown and, and seal the game. But uh, you just saw how quickly the game can change in indoor football. Well, I, I'm glad that you could see it because where I was, I couldn't see all of that stuff happening because of the def technical difficulties we had. And, and then what was kind of interesting for me is that somehow it got looped and I started doing the second half over again. <laughs> and it took me halfway through the third quarter to figure that out. Actually, it didn't take quite, <laughs> didn't take quite that long, but... I started calling things again, but what I wanted to Too do bad. You're not a gambler, Rich. Oh yeah. <laughs> I would have bet the yeah. wrong way anyway. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, coach, we'll, we're, I want to talk about things and we talked a little bit about that, but I want you to talk about the good, the bad, and the solid, as far as this game is concerned. And you talked about some of the bad and the fact that you had a, a 15 point lead and then lost it lead and then came back and scored it. When you think about good, what are the, some of the things that you think about, that were good in that contest and uh, go from there. I think, um, you know, some of the goods were uh, Chase Vinatieri didn't miss a kick. I mean, that's, that's really good, especially after his previous performances. Um, I thought our offensive line did a very good job run blocking. Uh, you take away the one bad snap. Uh, they really played a, a very good game against a, a really outmatched defensive line. I mean, they should dominate that, and they did. Um, I thought Tommy Armstrong came in and played very well, did a great job running the ball, was very patient with his throws and his reads, and and really, you know, um, got us back into the game and and took the lead for us, um, and, and we needed that spark. He, he did a very good job there. The, um, Go ahead. 
No, I, I was just going to go into the next part. So you go ahead, Rich. Yeah, Tommy Armstrong, four of six, 33 yards, no interceptions, no touchdowns, but he did rush the ball for a couple of scores at 62 yards on five carries. Yeah, and he, he had another touchdown run that got called back on – on just a, a, I don't know, we, I can't find the hole that was called. Um, I, I don't know what the official saw, but there's clearly no hold when you watch on film. It must have been he just caught the end of something and, and thought he saw something because there's really nothing there. And Tommy had a nice touchdown run on the play. Then you talk about um, the solid. And you had mentioned one thing about the solid, good, the bad, and the solid. And Chase Vinatieri for the night, two of two field goals, five of five point after touchdowns, hit 11 points in the contest. And for him, he had struggled early, but this was, a, I'm sure, a confidence builder for him in a game down in Louisville. Yeah, I, I, you hope so. I mean, he, he needs that. And we need that. Um, you know, for whatever reason right now, we're not finishing drives consistently, uh, especially off turnovers. That's where – you know, we we really noticed we got to have the killer instinct off a turnover to to make them pay with a touchdown. And, and we need to be more consistent about that. But he came in and picked us up when we couldn't do that. Another solid performance, Nate Chavius. Five carries, 50 yards. He had a touchdown. He had a kickoff return for a touchdown, his second of the season. Tell us about Nate, what I would call a solid performance. Well, yeah, he's got a kick return for a touchdown every game so far. Um, yeah, so he has been unbelievable in that that regard. Uh, you're right at deep at running back though; he's been very solid. Uh, we, you know, we only ran 26 total plays. I mean, that that's just uh, you know unbelievable. It was so easy to grade the, the grade sheets this week because um, usually you're getting you know twice as many of that. Usually around 60 to 70 plays a game. And so to have such few game, uh, plays didn't give Nate much opportunity when we could have really lined up and ran the ball well. But when he did get his chances, he did a nice job. Why were there so, <clears throat> so few less plays? Well, some of it's them, them getting third downs and continuing drives. Some of it is, you know, first down, you have a safety. Um, we had a fumble on a kick return. We had an interception on a first down play. So, you, you know, you lose those opportunities with with simple turnovers that's going to cost you every time storm had uh, 127 yards rushing the ball to louisville's 33 but louisville passing uh surpassed the storm 235 to 56 and we knew going in we talked about this that louisville was going to be very much pass oriented but i was surprised at how many yards they put up in the in the game uh, yeah, yeah, us too. I mean, we just, uh, I, I think a lot of times we, we had decent coverage, just didn't make plays on the ball. Their receiver would go over our DBs and make the catch. Um, you know, one guy had a really nice touchdown catch where he got thrown over the wall at the same time. But for the most part, it was them making plays and being consistent on, on third downs, whereas we need a big stop on those downs. Talk about your um, ball club. As far as uh, John Jordan Baldwin had a 23-yard interception return for a touchdown. Tell us about that. That was a big play. You had mentioned it. Well, I, I think it's a, a, you know, it comes down to a tip that went right into Jordan's hands that he was able to run back. Um, you know, Jordan didn't play very well besides that. He had dropped in the interception, hit him right in the chest earlier. And, um, and then he's, you know, still struggling with the concept of, of the space on the field and using the walls to help him. And <clears throat> we either need to get him more comfortable out on the field or, or make a change. Lorenzo Brown saw action also. And for the night, one of four passing, 23 yards, no touchdowns. He had one interception, but he uh, did rush for two touchdowns, both one yard carries. Tell us about the diff having both quarterbacks in the same game to, uh, that night. Why well, Lorenzo didn't play well. Um, he wasn't very focused, uh, but what he did do well was <clears throat> the last drive, we're down one, and, um, you, you know, I had brought him back in. It was the intent the whole time to play both of them, and we brought Lorenzo back in when we're up 15, 
snap over his head. It wasn't his fault. So I kept him in when we were down one. And um, he throws a good pass to Brandon Shepard, who drops it on third down. Fourth down, we decide to go for it. And, and you know, a veteran savvy quarterback, he goes on, gives a hard count, draws him off sides. We get a free play, and he hits Shepard down at the two-yard line for a big gain. Um, and, you know, that just says a lot about Lorenzo right there. You know, not having a great game, but still being that vet guy that could come in and lead you down the field when needed. Defensively, Marquise Hendricks led uh, all tacklers with 12. He had a one and a half tackle for loss. Uh, Trey Wofford again had a solid game, uh, stat wise. Ten touch or ten tackles and one tackle for loss. Jordan Baldwin with nine tackles and that interception. And then you had three others that uh, had pass breakups in the game. But when you have that many passes thrown, you're going to have more opportunities also. Coach, when you look at the game overall, it was a, a victory on the road very positive thing. And it's, you know, to be able to take that into camp this week and work on what you need to getting ready for a, a, a team that has a very good start to their season, the Bismarck Lux three and two. Yeah. I, and, you know, I, I think you see a difference between some of these teams that have, have, they're playing their fifth game, whereas some, you know, us going on our, our they're going on their sixth game now and we're going on our, our fourth, but you just see they're not making some of those simple mistakes that a lot of the other teams in the league are right now. You watch Bismarck and, and Green Bay and, um, you, you know, the Massachusetts team, they're all a little more polished. And, and that's just having more reps, more plays. Um, practice does not always um, – give you that opportunity to match what a game is like only game game reps do that and they're farther along than everyone else well coach when we come back we'll talk about the bucks coming up next on the curtis rig show we'll be back right after this Fireplace Professionals is a proud supporter of the Sioux Falls Storm. Our gas fireplaces and inserts from Heat and & Glow and Heatilator are the best in the business. You can stop in and see the region's largest showroom or visit us on the web at fireplaceprofessionals.com and get a virtual tour. We have almost 100 Heat and & Glow and Heatilator models on display and even more in stock. If you ever need advice, just call 605-339-0775 or better yet, stop in and see us at 1217 West 41st Street in Sioux Falls. You're going to love the way your home feels. Hey, Sioux Falls, do you want the guaranteed best carpet cleaning ever? Then you need to check out Best Choice Cleaning and Restoration. Since 1989, Best Choice incorporates the work ethic and durability of old school family methods with the efficiency of modern equipment to offer high quality cleaning services. When they're done cleaning the carpet in your home or office, you'll be thrilled with the results. Try Best Choice Cleaning and Restoration and experience the best carpet cleaning ever. Hi, everybody. This is Rich Rosty for the Sioux Falls Storm. When you think about sponsors that have been a part of the Sioux Falls Storm organization, there's no one that's been around longer than Good Sense Deli Fresh Subs. They've been around since the days of the Cobras 21 years ago. And they are a special organization. And they've been working to further enhance deliveries in Sioux Falls by supplementing their delivery staff with a third-party delivery company so you get your subs baked fresh sliced fresh and delivered fresh that's good sense deli fresh subs man that's good more people are choosing silver star car wash than ever just 14.95 per month for fast easy unlimited washes at all of our silver star car wash locations Get in and out quick and easy with free vacuums and prep towels and several convenient locations all over town. You won't find a better value anywhere. Just $14.95 per month for unlimited washes. Silver Star, a better wash, a great feeling. Welcome back to the Curtis Rake Show. Here is your host, Rich Rosty. And welcome back to the Curtis Riggs Show. I'm Rich Rosty. And joining us now on Zoom meeting is offensive lineman for the Sioux Falls Storm, Adam Sheffield. Adam, thanks for being on the Curtis Riggs Show. Uh, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Now, tell us a little bit about your background and where you grew up. Uh, I'm originally from San Jose, California, uh, born and raised. Um, grew up playing 
high school football out there and uh, that's where most of my family is. And um, so it's been definitely a, a unique contrast coming out to South Dakota from California, but I really enjoyed my time out here so far in Sioux Falls. Well, you were a part of the University of Sioux Falls. So how did you wind up from San Jose to an NAI school at uh, Sioux Falls, South Dakota? Did you even know where South Dakota was? <laughs> Um, I, the only thing at the time I knew about South Dakota was Mount Rushmore. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of the only thing you need to think about, but, um, I had an interesting path, uh, coming out of high school. So I originally, uh, committed to Boise State, uh, played there for two years, um, ended up transferring out when Coach Peterson left, uh, to University of Washington. And then I took some time off for some personal reasons and then ended up coming back, uh, played junior college football and then. Uh, my junior college, U University of Sioux Falls, reached out and expressed interest. And uh, I just, you know, at the time, you know, talking with the coaches, Coach Anderson and Coach Benedetto at the time who recruited me, um, they were just really, really down to earth guys. And I did some research into, you know, the University of Sioux Falls and the, and the program. And, you know, everything that I saw and heard and read was just all good things. And so I just felt like it was a really good spot for me to, to be able to get back to playing football. Well, Fantastic. Good for your University of Sioux Falls also that you were able to come back here. Now, for you, you said you'd played high school ball in San Jose and you'd played other, uh, a couple other places, but was playing in Sioux Falls the first time for you playing outside in cold weather? Um, the cold, it's been the coldest I've played in. Um, like I said, Idaho was cold, but this South Dakota played my my senior my last game at USF. It was like zero degrees, I think. So that was like the cold, the most memorable game. You know, the coldest game and the most memorable was me. You know, I was my senior, my last game, my senior year. And so it was uh, <laughs> that was definitely an experience. Uh, <laughs> experience. You know, it's hard to believe, but at one time I was a, a football player too, and I was an offensive guard. Mm -hmm. And I look at offensive linemen now in the very cold weather and you guys are bare armed <laughs> it, when i was playing i mean i had a sweatshirt on and i had my arms covered you know and i had a jacket on the sidelines but you guys are out there i mean all across the board people are playing without covering on their arms how does that work and what's the psychology or the philosophy behind having bare arms in cold weather I think that just stems from the mentality of, you know, football. And I'm not really sure where it originated, but I know that, you know, a lot of those cold weather games, it's just kind of a thing, the offensive lineman, it's almost like an unwritten rule. It's like, it doesn't matter how cold it's going to be. It's kind of like baseball. It's like, it's an unwritten rule. It's like, no matter how cold it is, we're not wearing sleeves. It's just, it's, yeah. it's, the, the, I think the, with the nature of the position itself, you know, it's, it's basically a roll up your sleeve kind of a, you know, of a job, you know? And so it's just, just that mental aspect, like you said, kind of psychological thing of like, you know, we're going to come here, we're going to work, we're going to work our butts off. It doesn't matter what, you know, if it's a hundred degrees or if it's minus 10, you know, minus 20, we're still going to come here and we're going to do our job. So. I would have never made it this in this day and age because <laughs> I, I would have had to have my arms. However, there are, you know, some people that feel that if you have your arms covered, you're going to sweat. That's going to hold the sweat and you're going to actually become colder mm -hmm. because of that. And so there's a philosophy for it behind it also, isn't there? Yeah. Well, the thing about it is um, part of it is psychological too, because, you know, if you look across and the guy over there has got sleeves on and he's looking at you bare armed, there's a, there's a certain thing that goes through their mind like, how tough is this kid that he can be out here without any uh, arms and things? Yeah, like yeah, definitely. I mean, like you said, I mean, whatever advantage you can gain, um, you know, mentally and mentally, physically, whatever you can take, you know, I mean, whatever you can take to try and get that edge over your opponent, you know, you'll take it. So that's definitely a big, a big thing for sure. You know, in regards, to if you, it's almost like the hands on hips, or you know, you see a guy, you know, you're you're looking across the huddle across from you, and guys are hands on knees or you know, you can just kind of tell they're breathing really heavily or just, you can see body language is a huge thing. And that's, it's kind of similar to wearing the sleeve. It's like, okay, this guy, you know, I think I can break this guy mentally. That, and the body language is absolutely critical. We'll get into that a little bit later on as we talk. And we're visiting with Adam Sheffield, offensive lineman for the Sioux Falls Storm here on the Curtis Riggs Show. 
And now you finished your career at the University of Sioux Falls. And how did you find a way to get into with the Sioux Falls storm? Tell us how that process went. Um, so I was, after my senior year at USF, um, I had some interest from NFL teams. I spent a rookie mini camp with the Colts. And then when that, I went there, I kind of fell through. And then I was looking at other options to just continue playing football. Um, I just wanted to continue playing because I love the game so much. Uh, I was looking at possible opportunities and the storm actually coach Riggs had contacted me and had asked if I had an interest in playing for them. And I, I knew that the storm, I had gone to a couple of games, you know, my time at USF came and watched a couple of games. And I knew that the storm was a, was a really big deal and they have a really good, uh, a really good organization. And so I was excited. I said, Hey, you know, I mean, I would definitely love to be able to, you know, to join up and, and be a part of this, you know, having been, like I said, in Sioux Falls now for three years, roughly, um, my time at USF and now with the storm, um, I've really come to enjoy my time here at Sioux Falls. I just thought it would be a really good opportunity for me to be able to, to continue playing and play for a great organization. Oh, yeah, very much so. Now, coming from traditional football to indoor football, I ask this question of pretty much everybody, but what is the difference for you as far as playing outdoor and now playing indoor? What's the biggest change for you as a, a blocking offensive lineman? Good question. Um, it it's definitely an adjustment in the sense of it's quicker. Um, there are different rules that you don't take into consideration playing eleven man football or excuse me outdoor football versus uh, indoor football. Uh, you know the main thing is is I think just the speed and just how quick guys are on you just because the D linemen are very very tight shades on me which means they're they're really tight on my shoulder which means they're coming they're gonna be right in your chest you know if you snap the ball they're on you. and so you know when you look at outdoor football sometimes they line up wider outside so there's still some variations of how you kind of expect the guy to to attack you and so in indoor football i think just that just being that close to a guy every single play it that's the biggest adjustment just being that quick and just knowing that hey i gotta be like quick right now because this guy's on me right now. You know, what people don't realize is that uh, that offensive and defensive line, you guys are facing the same guy pretty much one-on-one -on -one throughout the entire game. I mean, relationships have been built in a shorter period of time than the length of a football game, but here <laughs> you are battling, battling each other. And all, you know, as, as the game progresses, there's something that offensive linemen really pay attention to that is tendencies by that defensive lineman. However, the defensive lineman is also looking at your tendencies. So how does that chess match go among the grueling, battling offense and defensive line struggle? Yeah, um, that is always a key. You don't always want to share all your secrets, but... Uh... <laughs> But there's, I mean, that's always, like you said, chess match. It's the game within the game, right? And you are you go into a game, analyze the film of your opponent. You kind of get an idea of, okay, what down is it? What's the distance? You know, if it's, pass, if it's a passing situation, it's third and long. Okay, what's this guy's favorite move? I know on film he likes to do a spin move, say. He likes to do an inside move, try to get my hands off him, right? So I'm looking, going into that, I'm thinking, okay, this guy is third and 10, you know, I'm looking at the six, like, okay, I know this guy's going to try and give me his best pass rush right, right now. So I'm anticipating that that's going to be his most likely move. That's all, always the case because, you know, defensive linemen, they, a good defensive linemen know that's what I know they're going to try to do. So they'll try and set up their moves. Yeah. It's just that constant back and forth. And, you know, sometimes guys give things away that, you know, that you some unconsciously kind of pick up on, you know, whether it's they're tilting, they're leaning a little bit inside or they're kind of light on their hands, you know, things like that. There's just little things as the game kind of progresses that you start to pick up on and say, okay, I know what he's about to do right now so I can adjust and then make a good play off of it. There's another question that I ask every offensive lineman. Have you ever actually held a defensive lineman on a play? Never. Never. I, that is that, you know, that's universal. Absolutely. <laughs> universal. There is not one offensive lineman that is ever, held a defensive lineman and you ask I ask that question the defensive lineman they say every play 
<laughs> it's the never ending struggle between the offensive line and the defensive line. We'll never, that's one thing we will never agree on. Never. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly right. And I'm, I'm all with you. I totally understand. If you ain't holding, you ain't trying. <laughs> now, you know, when you went to the University of Sioux Falls, what was your major, what was your major interest in as far as academics was concerned? At USF, so I was a communications major coming to USF uh, at my junior college. And so I transitioned. USF doesn't have a communications department per se. They have, it's under a different name. And so it's media studies. And so it's um, a variation of a lot of like journalism, uh, PR, uh, sports, broadcasting, radio. It's kind of like similar to what you do. Um, you know, videos, um, taking pictures, you know, being in the games, just kind of being involved involved with uh, different avenues of media. And so um, I wanted, like I said before, I wanted to kind of focus on sports as, you know, sports has been a huge part of my life. Football has been a huge part of my life. And so that was something that interested me. Um, it allowed me the chance to be able to write about, talk about, you know, take pictures of sports, you know. And so it was, it was just kind of a – it was a good segue for me just to be able to, to combine my athletic career with my – academic career at that point you know when people if i have a chance to talk to somebody going to college and it doesn't happen very often anymore but if i said something to them this is the one thing that i continually said i said one of the biggest things that you need to do most important things that you need to do in your education is to learn how to write well mm -hmm. to be able to communicate well because when you send out a resume that's the only thing that an employer, a future positive, a possible employer, has to go by is how you look on paper, the way you communicate. And Absolutely. It's hugely important for grammar, for uh, phonetics, for uh, proper usage, vowel usage, and verb usage, and things like that. People don't realize that, they, oh, English and grammar, you know, that's boring. I don't want to do that. That's probably one of the most important things to do, or also taking a writing course or anything for communication, what your major is. Absolutely. Because that is what your key is for presenting yourself on a piece of paper to a, a person looking to hire you. And mm -hmm. that makes a huge difference. And I, and I know that you would agree with that. hundred percent, hundred percent. I agree. Um, I've always, that's also, like I said, another reason what drew me to the journalism side of it. Um, you know, growing up, I was a big reader, big in the English grammar. Those are my, those are my top subjects in, in high school and, and growing up. You know, I actually had a public speaking course in high school too, and that helped me become really comfortable with, you know, being able to enunciate words and understand how to present myself. Like you said, it's, it's, a, it's a critical thing. I mean, people, like you said, don't take into consideration that that is a very, very, uh, it's just the way you present yourself. That's the way that you, people are going to view you the first thing you say out of your mouth and how you communicate. You know, that's how we communicate with each other. So being, being able to, clearly state your intention and just, you know, who you are. That's, that's, that's critical. Well, I tell you what, Adam, it's great visiting with you. My very best to you as you continue <laughs> your career in football, playing with the Sioux Falls Storm. Really appreciate your time and your comments and my very best to you as this season progresses. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for having me on. Adam Sheffield, offensive lineman for the Sioux Falls Storm. Where's number 69? for the Sioux Falls Storm. We'll be back with more of the Curtis Riggs Show after we pause for this timeout. We'll be back right after this. Fireplace Professionals is a proud supporter of the Sioux Falls Storm. Our gas fireplaces and inserts from Heat & Glow and Heatalator are the best in the business. You can stop in and see the region's largest showroom or visit us on the web at fireplaceprofessionals.com and get a virtual tour. We have almost 100 Heat & Glow and Heatalator models on display and even more in stock. If you ever need advice, just call 605-339-0775, or better yet, stop in and see us at 1217 West 41st Street in Sioux Falls. You're going to love the way your home feels. Hey, Sioux Falls, do you want the guaranteed best carpet cleaning ever? Then you need to check out Best Choice Cleaning and Restoration. Since 1989, Best Choice incorporates the work ethic and durability of old-school family methods with the efficiency of modern equipment to offer high-quality cleaning services. When they're done cleaning the carpet in your home or office, you'll be thrilled with the results. Try Best Choice Cleaning and Restoration and experience the best carpet cleaning ever. Hi, everybody. This is Rich Rosty for the Sioux Falls Storm. 
When you think about sponsors that have been a part of the Sioux Falls Storm organization, there's no one that's been around longer than Good Sense Deli Fresh Subs. They've been around since the days of the Cobras 21 years ago. And they are a special organization. And they've been working to further enhance deliveries in Sioux Falls by supplementing their delivery staff with a third-party delivery company so you get your subs baked fresh, sliced fresh, and delivered fresh. That's good sense. Deli Fresh Subs. Man, that's good. More people are choosing Silver Star Car Wash than ever. Just $14.95 per month for fast, easy, unlimited washes at all of our Silver Star Car Wash locations. Get in and out quick and easy with free vacuums and prep towels and several convenient locations all over town. You won't find a better value anywhere. Just $14.95 per month for unlimited washes. Silver Star, a better wash, a great feeling. Welcome back to the Curtis Riggs Show. Here is your host, Rich Rosti. And welcome back for our final segment with the head coach of the Sioux Falls Storm, Curtis Riggs. And coach coming up next is the Bismarck Bucks. And uh, Bismarck has been in the league, I think, for the last three years or so, and they had struggled. But it seems like they have really taken a turn positively. Rod Miller up there seems to be really putting together a a good product and, and having success with the players that he has. Well, and I, I think starting early really benefited Bismarck and Green Bay. I think those two teams uh, not having a juggernaut like, uh, you know, in Arizona or the storm right away at the beginning of the season, uh, they're able to really battle with teams that maybe they're they're evenly matched with with Bismarck and Green Bay I think those who are pretty evenly matched but maybe better than uh, the other teams that started early and and it really gave them a chance to build some confidence to get to know each other to figure out what their players are good at and play to those strengths um, and I think uh, coach Miller's done a nice job of that uh, they have wins over Green Bay twice and also Northern Arizona who's winless and they lost to Iowa and Massachusetts. And uh, we'll be talking about Massachusetts down the road because that's kind of an interesting story going on out there. But anyway, the quarterback, Glenn Kulittle, uh, in the last game, he was 9 of 16, 160 yards. He had five passing touchdowns and one interception. Tell us about this quarterback. I, I, I don't know a whole lot about him, Rich, and that's where I, you know, trust Hermie and, and Corey and Dre to, to work on getting ready for him. The one thing I will say watching their offense, I think they did a good job of bringing um, the head coach from Quad Cities, Corey Ross, and uh, a lot of the players from Quad Cities. That's really helped them have guys that have experience and guys that have had success. You know, Quad Cities made it to the, the playoffs last year and um, you bring some of those players in you, you have a, a winning culture that you can build off of and, and that's been very good for them the bucks are coming off a 61 to 39 win over northern arizona the wranglers uh, but it made it even though it was a wide score the second half they didn't have the success they had the first half they only outscored the opponent by a point uh, had they changed personnel or was northern arizona gaining some momentum in that second half uh, you know, honestly, Rich, I, I, I don't know. I haven't watched that game yet. I, I've been watching um, Bismarck Green Bay just because I'm a little more familiar with that personnel. It gives me a way to kind of gauge against guys that you know. Um, so as we go through all the games, we'll get a better sense. Um, but, I, I, you know, the thing you see different from previous teams, one, a little more athletic at receiver, I think Harvey and, and the other kid both have some speed and, and can make some nice catches. Um, and then playing hard. I, you know, their linemen have some fire in them. Uh, they, they show some enthusiasm and passion for the game. And uh, you didn't see that previous years. Going into this game, you haven't had a chance to really delve into the Bucks that much. But, okay, tell us about your team and what you need to do this week in practice to get ready for them. Well, some of the things right away, Rich, is we've got to be able to win third downs, and then we've got to also make teams pay on turnovers. I mean, if they're going to give us extra possessions, 
we've got to capitalize on those. I, I think our red zone um, percentage could be much better. I just can't stand resorting to a field goal. We've got to be getting touchdowns and we have the personnel to do it too. We just, uh, it seems like we find ways to dig ourselves in a hole and have to work out of it. And when you get in the red zone, that's really tough to do. We got to stay ahead. And, and that way the, the defense is off balance and has no idea what we're doing. How'd you come out of the game health-wise down in Louisville? We came out pretty good. You know, I think the worst part was for the guys having to get out on the bus at 4 a.m. Sunday morning. Um, and, and that might have been the most challenging element physically for them. Otherwise, game-wise, you know, I, I didn't see any injuries. We came out pretty good. And, and um, I think we'll be able to assess and get a, a good group of guys ready for Bismarck. Fantastic, Coach. Well, you have a great game up in Bismarck. It'll be the game of the week. And you'll see it on Stadium. Just go to watchstadium.com. It's the game of the week on the Stadium Sports Network. Well, Coach, my best to you. Safe travels, and we'll talk to you again next week. All right. Thank you, Rich. Here's the head coach of the Sioux Falls Storm, Curtis Riggs. We'll wrap up the show when we return right after this. Fireplace Professionals is a proud supporter of the Sioux Falls Storm. Our gas fireplaces and inserts from Heat and Glow and Heatilator are the best in the business. You can stop in and see the region's largest showroom or visit us on the web at fireplaceprofessionals.com and get a virtual tour. We have almost 100 Heat and Glow and Heatilator models on display and even more in stock. If you ever need advice, just call 605-339-0775 or better yet, stop in and see us at 1217 West 41st Street in Sioux Falls. You're going to love the way your home feels. Hey, Sioux Falls, do you want the guaranteed best carpet cleaning ever? Then you need to check out Best Choice Cleaning and Restoration. Since 1989, Best Choice incorporates the work ethic and durability of old school family methods with the efficiency of modern equipment to offer high quality cleaning services. When they're done cleaning the carpet in your home or office, you'll be thrilled with the results. Try Best Choice Cleaning and Restoration and experience the best carpet cleaning ever. Hi, everybody. This is Rich Rosty for the Sioux Falls Storm. When you think about sponsors that have been a part of the Sioux Falls Storm organization, there's no one that's been around longer than Good Sense Deli Fresh Subs. They've been around since the days of the Cobras 21 years ago. And they are a special organization. And they've been working to further enhance deliveries in Sioux Falls by supplementing their delivery staff with a third-party delivery company so you get your subs baked fresh, sliced fresh, and delivered fresh. That's good sense. Deli Fresh Subs. Man, that's good. More people are choosing Silver Star Car Wash than ever. Just $14.95 per month for fast, easy, unlimited washes at all of our Silver Star Car Wash locations. Get in and out quick and easy with free vacuums and prep towels and several convenient locations all over town. You won't find a better value anywhere. Just $14.95 per month for unlimited washes. Silver Star, a better wash, a great feeling. Welcome back to the Curtis Riggs Show. Here is your host, Rich Rosty. And welcome back. For the final segment of the Curtis Riggs Show, I want to thank everybody for uh, tuning in. I want to thank the Storm Head Coach, Curtis Riggs. Also, Adam Sheffield with his interview. What a great individual to interview with a communications major. Uh, very inter uh, inter entertaining and uh, acknowledging his education and the importance of ed uh, English and all of the communication skills that he's learned in his major. So it was good talking to him. Again, coming up on this Saturday at the Sioux Falls Storm, going to be heading up to Bismarck, North Dakota to take on the Bucks, and that game is going to be at 7.05. It'll be the game of the week on Stadium. Just go to watchstadium.com. Also go to the Blue Rock, out a penny quarter across from the uh, Pentagon, and that's where the Storm viewing party is. And go on out there and join and watch the game with other Storm fans. Uh, next week, we'll have the Curtis Riggs Show. Next week also will be the Spokane Shock coming into the Denny Sanford Premier Center. We'll talk all about that game next week. Any information that you need to know, go to the Sioux Falls Storm website, SiouxFallsStorm.com, and you can go navigate through that and find out a whole bunch of information 
uh, merchandise, schedule, stats, all that kind of stuff. You can just get it by the Sioux Falls Storm website, SiouxFallsStorm.com. Well, for head coach Curtis Riggs, I'm Rich Rosty. Thanks for watching the Curtis Riggs Show, and we'll talk to you again next week right here on the Storm Broadcast Network. This has been the Curtis Riggs Show. Join us every week for our conversation with the Storm head coach, Curtis Riggs. Check out the Storm's website, SiouxFallsStorm.com, for all the latest information, schedules, history, videos, and so much more about the Storm. Thank you for watching the Curtis Riggs Show, brought to you by Sanford Health. Go Storm!